Good morning friends, welcome to another vlog. I really hope you all are doing well. So yesterday our TV got delivered finally and today the handymen are coming to put the TV on the place. I'm super excited about that. And also wanted to mention about this book. I've been reading this book, it's on my nightstand. It's really, really fascinating and it is filled with wisdom. I started this back in November and yeah, I'm taking my sweet time to complete this and I'm really, really liking it. So if you are somebody into Ayurveda and all those stuff, definitely check this book out. This is from Monica Grover. Let me read it, what it says over here. In this book, you will learn about herbs, nutrition and your Ayurvedic body type. You will learn about the power of sounds and chants and about invoking higher feminine energy to bring peace, healing and abundance in your life. We will use ancient rituals to summon the feminine divine by establishing an altar, a special place to collect blessings and abundance. We will also talk about Ayurveda, Ayurvedic herbs, nutrition, women's cycles including the menstrual cycle, PMS, menopause, pregnancy and some practical Ayurvedic tips. I am really really enjoying this book and definitely recommend this i'm still halfway and it is filled with wisdom so yeah i'm gonna link this um if you are interested in my last vlog i mentioned that i will be um painting the outdoor furniture basically the coating which i mentioned so if the weather permits we are going to do that we'll see we'll see <laughs> also i have few other things to do around the house so yeah super excited to spend the day with you all This looks a little big to me but hopefully it looks fine above the fireplace. I am just waiting for the handyman to arrive and then they are going to put this TV on its place. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll call it home. Golden, 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 golden thing. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I follow the golden 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 things gold hair gold rings Okay, so I made us some chai because I think it's going to rain and it's perfect weather. But if you are looking for a recipe, I have done a short video which I'm gonna link above so that you can check. Basically, I do not have any particular recipe. I just experiment with different spices and I have like bunch of spices and I add multiple of them, whatever I'm feeling like that day. So today I think I used green cardamom, black cardamom, cinnamon and I use some cloves. So yeah, it just varies every day but every time it comes out so good. So yeah, I'm gonna 
link the recipe if you are interested and the handyman just left and there is a little problem with the tv there is a little scratch which i'm gonna show you it's not something big but there is a scratch so we are wondering what to do maybe we'll call um for sure we have to call samson and see what to do with it either they can give us some dollars off or they will ship a replacement we'll see how that goes but let me show you the tv i feel like the size is okay earlier i was like really confused between 55 and 65 inches but i'm glad that i went with 65 inches i feel like it looks really really good it has a little bit scratch as you can see over here in here so that's why we have to uh replace this with a new one so hopefully they will deliver the new one soon and i also got bezels for the side of the tv we are going to put it together but right now i can see some dust over here because they drilled uh, in the back wall so i'm gonna clean this up one thing i feel like we did right i do not know what to call it i'll ask nitin and write what the technical term is but then we had a switch in the back so the wire which comes out of the tv it's not coming out from here so basically there is a hole in a wall and there is a long pipe which come which comes from here to here in the end so basically they inserted the wire inside and then pulled the wire through back wall hope i'm explaining this right but they pulled the wire from the back wall so that you cannot see any wire over here so the wire is here in the bottom i feel like this is such a nice upgrade to consider that way at least the wire is not hanging out and it just looks all nice and seamless so i thought i'll just mention that and this is the bezel i ordered initially i thought it's going to be wooden but it is plastic this one is in the color modern teak there are so many colors available but i chose this modern teak color because i do have a lot of wooden accents in here so i thought everything will go together and yeah it is not exactly um the color i was looking for but it's close so that will work so let's put it on the tv turn it on and the most major feature i'm excited about is this art feature you can choose any artwork which you like i haven't purchased anything yet so we'll just test some classic ones they have and this was the primary reason i got this tv not to watch it but because it has art function and it's going to look nice super silly reason to get a tv but anyway So let's test this one out. I'm just using the free ones which they have given. Oh, wow. It looks super real. I don't know how it's catching on the camera, but to me it looks exactly like an artwork, especially because of this um trims. How pretty is this? Let me just change it and test some more. What else? Only this much in classic? Let's try some cinemagraph. Ooh. Wow. It's so nice. Oh my god. And this one also has sound. It has a very little like candle sound. I don't know if the camera is catching, but then it will be so nice. They have few fall ones. Now you can hear the sound, right? Wow, 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 wow. This one is so relaxing. Okay. Spring vibes. <laughs> I think this is how we are, I'm going to watch TV like I'm just going to watch artwork. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. It does not look like TV whatsoever. So pretty. I'm going to link the exact TV and the bezel in the description box if you are interested. Okay, so if you remember, I found these pots from Walmart last week and the reason why I got these because I had to report these three. They are living in a very very small space right now. They definitely need bigger space. As you can see, the roots are like growing out of the pot. definitely needs a change how about this one mm -hmm. this is also growing outside the pot let's repot it whoa <laughs> it's 
some eggshells. One done. I'm still not sure where I'm going to keep this plants. Just compare this and this. This totally elevated the look of the plant. Moving on to next two. Hopefully I will have enough soil. We will hope for the best. We will hope for the best. Okay, and I also picked up this grape plants from Costco and I'm super excited to plant this. It will take like few years to grow, but I went to, uh, where I went? I went to a Persian restaurant and they had a dish called as dolme. I don't know if you are from Persia, let me know in the comments, but it was delicious and it is made out of grape leaves. So yeah, I thought I will have my own grape plants and then I will have leaves. So I'm gonna try and attempt to make that recipe, but that is going to be a long process. But anyway, I'm super excited to plant this in our backyard. If you can see over here, it has a little bud. So let's plant this. Yogi, are you ready to play? Are you ready to play? Let's play with your burger. planted the grapes successfully after breaking the bud but anyway so i'm thinking i will remove this grass over here and do something nice maybe get some rocks from home depot and make it pretty right now it's just there in the corner and we are supposed to plant the another tree six feet apart so we are going that side so where you see the scissors there will be the another plant as i mentioned earlier i also planned on painting the outdoor furniture if you have seen my previous vlog you know what i'm talking about but i feel like i again overestimated as usual classic me but anyway if i cannot do it today i'll do it tomorrow and we'll see we'll see we'll see if this vlog is getting like too long i will do that in the next vlog but I have to do it because the sun is out and it requires like three coats. So yeah, I'll do one coat and then it will dry, second coat dry and then third coat. So I have to do it when the sun is out. And today was the perfect weather. But anyway, we are doing other things. So it's okay. Also, this mint is growing and it's out of control. So let's see what we can do with this. It went down and then it's coming up and we have a lot of dead plants over here. So I'm just gonna remove it and plant it nicely so i have cut the top parts and you can simply plant this in the soil again and it will come back and I have few with the roots as well so hopefully it grows back
done with this. Now it looks much better. It was like going everywhere, but now it's all nice and concealed. Then I'm gonna place the mint outside because the weather will be nice in few weeks. So that's why I changed the pot and let, let's move on to the next plant. And I have a big one this time. So I saved a few mint leaves. And I'm going to wash this and make a tea out of it. Okay, so this is the Monstera, which I was talking about, and it has become so big. So I'm thinking I will propagate it. So wherever you see this air root like this, you want to cut it underneath it. So basically, I'm going to cut it here. So many roots over here as well. So I'm going to cut it from here. And you want to use a sharp garden scissor. So let's cut it from here. There is one more root. There is one more root. From here or here? Okay, let's cut it from here. Okay, on this side, we have quite a lot of air roots as you can see. Okay, so let's cut this from here. So I just did two cuttings and I'm gonna place one in here. I filled this with water and after almost five to six weeks, I can see roots growing over here under water. And that's when I will give it to our neighbors. And I'm going to place this where the sunlight is indirect. So it needs light, but not like too much light. Okay, so I'm gonna place it near dining area because that's where we get the sunlight when the sun sets and it's very light, not harsh. So I'm gonna place it there. Mm -hmm. 